At Yakult, we have a special story to tell that we'd like to share with you. It begins in the early 20th century, 1921 to be precise. That was the year that an ambitious young man began to study medicine at Kyoto University. His name was Minoru Shirota. Inspired by the research of Nobel Prize winner Eli Mechnikov, Minoru studied hard. After he graduated, he became a researcher at the university. In his new role as a scientist, Dr. Shirota, as Minoru was now known, researched the role of bacteria in the body. After years of research, he finally succeeded in cultivating a unique strain of bacteria that was strong enough to reach the intestines alive. His professor agreed to name this strain Lactobacillus casei shirota, after Dr. Shirota himself. In order to get this unique bacteria into our gut, Dr. Shirota created a fermented milk drink that contained his strain of bacteria, Lactobacillus casei shirota, in 1935. He named his drink Yakult, a word derived from the Esperanto Yakuto, which means yogurt. It was his vision to deliver Yakult to people far and wide. He worked hard to make his wish come true. The drink became so popular that in 1955, the Yakult Honsha Company was founded in Tokyo. He also developed a world-renowned laboratory, which evolved into the Yakult Central Institute for Microbiological Research. It was there that Dr. Shirota could continue his pioneering scientific work. Yakult's popularity spread across the world. In 1994, the first European factory was founded in Almira in the Netherlands. Let's go inside to see how Yakult is produced. To make the perfect Yakult, a few elements are crucial. The unique Lactobacillus casei shirota, high quality ingredients, stringent hygiene procedures, and very strict quality controls. The production process starts with dissolving the basic ingredients, skimmed milk powder and water. This solution is then sterilized using an ultra heat sterilizer. This means that the mixture is heated to a very high temperature to kill any unwanted bacteria. When the solution has cooled, the Lactobacillus casei shirota is added to the sterilized solution and left to grow for the required fermentation period. In order to get the right number of Lactobacillus casei shirota in the solution, we have to keep the temperature constant during the fermentation period. The resulting solution still needs to be pumped through a series of pipes to make it smooth. And finally, we add flavors and sugars to give Yakult its pleasant taste. Once it's ready, the solution is cooled. This makes the bacteria dormant so that the mixture can be stored. At this stage, the mixture is still rather thick. To turn it into the Yakult that you actually drink, crystal clear water has to be added. Once that's done, the finished drink is poured into Yakult's iconic little bottles. It takes less than one tenth of a second to fill and close a bottle, after which they're packed in no time at all. Did you know 45,000 bottles can be filled and packed in just one hour? When they're ready, our bottles are distributed to stores and supermarkets across the UK and Ireland, so people can enjoy Yakult every day. At Yakult, we continuously strive to realize Dr. Shirota's vision.